Good morning. Just after 9.15 on the 3rd of April, 2019, E from MarketWizards.com and eMiniWizard.com, reminding traders to use risk capital you can afford to lose. We keep saying risky business. And once again, overnight, <clears throat> the boys have pummeled the shorts, and this is getting to be uh, systematic. Uh, I wish I had some words of wisdom <clears throat> for you for a day like today. Best that I can give is avoid trouble. Try to identify where supports are <clears throat> and look to join the winning team. We have said that ad infinitum, that in a uptrending market, you want to buy support rather than just focus on resistance. And then let the trade evolve and see if you can get to your targets. <clears throat> Too many traders are trying to guess the top. And who knows when it ends? Nobody knows. We have measured targets, measured moves. We've already hit the 84 target that we had talked about. We said make sure you paid 82s to 85s. Right now the angel is 66 and a half. I had proposed that 66 was support until broken, that that was a target area that needed to be defended by the longs. And it was obviously. And then we get some more nonsense news and away we go. Um, the hard part of trading, of course, if you are a day trader, is what you miss overnight. And then when they're at least fair and they give you a, a two-way day, you can at least participate in some of that. And we never know when that's going to happen. All we can do is try to guess where <clears throat> the big boys will come in and say, I want my profits. You know, hard to believe in the short side as much as it is the long side with this type of a pattern that's been holding. So I have suggested that the biggest dilemma <clears throat> for a lot of traders is always saying, okay, when it gets here, I want a short. Focus should be the other way. When it gets here, I want to buy. Who cares about the short? If your target is 88, to 90.75, our, our targets today, we'll certainly identify them, but we've talked about those targets. You should be buying into it, and then obviously if you get a runner and it keeps going, great. But too many are trying to short, 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 and that keeps fueling it. So the problem right now, obviously, at the open is risk and reward for both sides, not just the, <clears throat> the long side, but the shorts too. So the squeeze will continue until it ends. And all I know is that yesterday we had talked about, you know, we haven't ruled out that 90 and a quarter target, 92. And I said, I think that's a bit rich for today. Well, here we are, you know, on the doorstep. There's a 10 minute chart and I'm using this for now. We have suggested overnight, use 77 support. So right now it's all we can do is play that box. 77 intact, market still moving up. We're still consolidating in that range. Yesterday was take a breather, overnight was, hey, we got you. So I know it's tough, you're trying to figure out what to do. The, the most important thing is avoid damaging your account. You give it a shot if you want to play, grab a point or two, and understand this is still rabid dog day until it isn't. And we said yesterday that we were coming into the 60 minute support line and that took off and has squeezed ever since. In terms of risk and reward, it should not escape you that, that this red line is a measure that I've got about a hundred point target from this low back here, this double. Remember that low? 27th, we said, okay, 89 and a half. You know, looks like they've got to try to defend 92 to 90 and a quarter. 
Well, well they did. <laughs> that's all I can say. You know, so so that's why I've got a target here and other things that would suggest that too. But that's the risk and reward part right now from, from this lever trying to get here. And obviously from the 45 support, you know, where that thing held and gapped up. And here we go again. So I, I don't want to cut profit short on the longs, but I do want to say that be aware of that perspective and risk and reward ideas. And target today is to try to get to 90.75 to 92 and above that good fortune. And probably already in the good fortune phase, it just feels like a squeeze and shorts got caught trying to guess and are still being squeezed. So we're gonna open about five minutes. I like this chart for perspective. And we're going to keep 77 support until broken. And I said, let's think about this 82. It's going to be a 82 to 83, going to be an important area um, in the early morning swing. And here's our yearly. <clears throat> These are <clears throat> contract adjusted. But you will note that, that this uh, 68 area was actually one notch down from the top in last year's range. So we're, we're certainly pressing. I said before, I thought we were gonna come up and, and look like the next test would be up here. It's at this 77, 78, we said, let's call it. And they busted through that overnight. So, okay, so that support still broken. That's why I'm looking at that. If we abandon that and come back through and keep coming, that's obviously another story. But for now, that's that's the premise I'm using why I said, all right, so let's use 77. Now, I, I'm trying to share with you reasons why I do this. Now, this is not just about me making a call and hope you believe me. It's about me showing you the ideas that I'm using to, when I make those posts. So I hope that makes sense for you and showing you where that's coming from. So basically, we're encroaching on these traders. And the market loves to do that, loves these retests. So we said early, if you want to short, use 87 and a half, 88 as your resistance, try to grab a point or two, don't go crazy. And if you did, lock it and be thankful you were able to get that against the push. If you're conservative, sidelines for this open. Here's our OTF predictive chart. If you are long coming into the open, you should make sure you are paid. And this is the chart that I'm using is 61. Remember yesterday, 61, 62, back in here. We'd say it's support. And then we had this 81, 82 zone. And now up here, this uh, 90.75, 91 area. So, so this is what we're using right now. Support, the fighting box, and then the, the resistance box that we're in. So theoretically, this box moves up one and yellow moves here and green moves here. Because we know we're in this box and we're trying to fight this box right now. And we know we've left this box. So that's our support now. So this is adjusted from yesterday. 